Mamma mia, pit of daddy. Mamma mia? Da da! Yeah. Da. What are you watching on TV? I want Creative Galaxy. Creative Galaxy? Yeah. Meet my feet. Mm hmm. Yeah, you bumped your cheek when you were jumping around in the tub last night. Um, I'm going to go to the bath. You took a bath? Oh, I hurt my back. Got a little hurt on your cheek. Hey, it's me, your, your old buddy Andy. Ronnie's out with her friends at a movie. I just put Promi to bed. So I'm here kind of by myself in this kind of cluttered, yeah, I wouldn't call it nasty house, but just cluttered and it's a mess and we haven't really cleaned up since we got back from our Florida slash Tennessee trip. Oh, you just hate, you ever just hate the way you look? Not hate, but just, it ain't me. I don't know. Can't really fix my looks right now until I fix uh, the mind controls the body in some mysterious ways. Mainly I just don't have an appetite just because of the stress and you could call it depression, I guess. No two ways about it. But it's been hard being back because there's nothing for me here in Canada. I've kind of come to that conclusion. Just thinking about Florida and family and friends. It's like, why did I leave? <laughs> it was, it was, it can be the safety net that I need right now. And there's no like perfect answer up there. I keep trying to find that perfect answer. And when you're dealing with a nightmare situation, sometimes you just pick up the pieces the best you can. I, I'll say I think I have to leave Utah right now. I mean like, that's how I'm thinking right now. In Florida, you know, I, I grew up there, I wasn't really interested in returning there, you know? But if I had to pick any place with a community and like a safety net and family and friends, that's it, that's really it. I, don't, I can't think of any better place to go to kind of rebuild and heal. I don't know what's gonna happen with the custody stuff. At any rate, I've got Ronnie and Promi with me now. That's our current agreement with the idea that Ronnie's gonna be finishing out her school year here in Utah. So I gotta make some decisions. I wanna go, I think I've, and again, it's hard to see out of the pit that you're in. Like, you can't even peek above it. So you have to do the best you can with the knowledge you have. And I consult as many people as I can, friends and family, and just say, hey, from your perspective, give me perspective on this because I can't really see out too well right now. I think I can, but I know enough about being in the midst of a crisis scenario that's good to talk to stable people and just get their perspective. Most people, I think everyone I've talked to has, even my counselor, I go to counseling if you didn't know that, maybe like twice a month, a therapist, whatever you want to call it, just, you know, a professional that you talk to, and I don't know why I did quote professional, but, um, <laughs> it's not just some buddy down the street, it's a professional who has degrees and so forth and experience talking with people like me. And all these people seem to be in agreement that yes, perhaps Florida might be a good place to land for a little bit and rebuild. So I gotta ask, how can I rebuild? What's best for the kids? Without lengthy childcare, it has been nearly impossible to work. 
that's a problem. If you want to support a family and provide any sort of lifestyle that's remotely stable and good, you have to have some resources. I guess you could rely off welfare or something, but it just... Point is, we've been in survival mode. I know what it's like to be in survival mode for a long time with this many kids. And people can say, well, why, if you couldn't have handled it, why did you, why did you have five kids and adopt two more? Well, it's simple. At the time, I had a team member, uh, my wife, you know, we were going to support each other and work within our community. We had, you know, pretty strong community. And we'd be there for each other, and we could handle this pretty big challenge. And now that she's left, um, it's safe to say that it takes everything a single parent has to care for, care properly for seven kids. So with that in mind, and this took some time to kind of work through my own thoughts about stuff. What kind of lifestyle do I want to give the kids and what can I handle? What do I want to do? What can I handle? I don't want to be struggling and surviving day to day. I think it's fair to say to get myself in a good, healthy, uh, financially stable position, um, I'll be able to provide the lifestyle that I want to live. And I'm, I'm not talking like extravagant lifestyle, just not in survival mode all the time. That's what I want to accomplish. Would, and this is the question I have to ask myself, would I be willing to give up custody of all seven to pursue that goal? In essence, move to Florida, Amy gets all the kids, I get visits. Is that a failure on my part? Is that laziness? Nobody can answer these questions but me. Should I just take one of the kids? Should I just take Prometheus? I can't even believe I'm talking about this. And I, I hope in the future I can look back at this time and say, you did. You did the best you could with the knowledge you had. I don't want the kids to think I gave them up or something. It just really... So as of today, I'm highly considering basically signing Amy's divorce petition, pretty much as is. And just moving on to the next chapter and rebuilding. And being the best dad I can with what I've been given. So that's where I am right now, tonight. I need to talk some more. And there's there's a lot of fear about taking that leap to go to Florida. You know, am I able to work? Will I find good work? Do I give up my business? Do I look for part-time work, full-time work? What do I want to give up? What's the cost? Just a terrible, Terrible situation all around. At this point, I just want to make some decisions to move forward in some capacity, instead of constantly pondering and worrying about what is. No matter what I choose, it's just not going to be the perfect choice, or the perfect... It's not what I envision for the family, obviously. I, I think the kids have been through a lot. So I'll continue to think about it over this weekend and just see, let those thoughts simmer. Ronnie should be coming on pretty soon.